What's up? Waiting for Jojo. He's doing the dishes, so what I didn't do. What's up? Welcome to another burner. Today we've got some specials for you. Sushi. Some more sushi. Bam, 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 bam. And you know what? Why we got all that stuff? Because we're going on a trip. And where are we going, Juliet? First we will be taking the train to Xinyin. It's like ancient Tibet, so it's supposed to be really nice. I was not really fond of the idea, but uh, Joe convinced me, so... You just gotta be enthusiastic. And I'm really excited about it. It's like north of Chengdu. And it's gonna take us 11 hours to go there by train. It's gonna be amazing! Meet you at the train station, guys. We are actually quite late to catch the train because we didn't realize that it was not at the South Railway Station. Railway waiting well. Okay, let's go that way. Chinese are running, we should be running as well. We just got control in the train and they exchanged our paper tickets to like cards. So, first impression of the night train, they seem quite clean, it's spacious if you could say that. The beds are 60 centimeters wide. They seem a bit bigger though, so that's a pleasant surprise. Good impression, thumbs up. What's the crack? And Jews down there. Chilling out downstairs. Update. We actually got to trade in with uh, our neighbors, so we both have the upper part now. And Juliet's just coming up to move in. The second I touched it, the train yeah, just bumped. What time is it? It is, wait, wait. My watch is still at the French time. No way. <laughs> Ever since we got to China. Yeah. It's 7.30. 7.35. It's very cruisy. It's just the AC is blowing on our legs. So yeah, it's, just uh, right there. So we put the duvet but, on us. I don't know if you can see that. Having a good time. Cruisy. We might watch one or two episodes at the office. Good morning. We had two wonderful nights. One night each. <laughs> I do know why they call hard sleepers. Because they are hard. It's <laughs> breakfast. I got some light char. Here we go. Chinese fluent. Oh. hours to go and then we're in Xinying and now we're gonna figure out what we're going to do today but what we're going to see yes, we made it we, we made are it. 
at the train station. We just made a Chinese friend because she wanted to be friend with us. So now we are going to our hotel. Hopefully. Hopefully. And then we will try to visit some stuff. So see you guys later. It's literally like an airport. So that's the bridge with no water underneath. It's starting. Now you know how famous people feel, you know? It was nice. I mean, they were, they were quite cute. They see way less um, I guess actually not Europeans and Occidentals here. No one's coming here. So for us, go return and then go from here to Longshore. Was the price of one way? Yeah, and it's more, it's more interesting to like discover something that nobody really knows in the end, and we can make our own opinion about it, and just and go cheap. into the unknown. <laughs> just a little precision about the city. It's not like small because it's still two million inhabitants. It's like Paris, basically, if you want. But it's small for a Chinese city. Okay. Now let's catch a bus. Ah, uh, but. I, yeah, I know. We actually found a hostel because the first hostel we booked via WeChat couldn't take foreigners. It's not that they didn't want us, it's just that they couldn't take us because they need a certificate from the police station. So if they don't have the certificate, they can't take foreigners basically. We found this hostel that a guy recommended us that we met at the train station randomly and he just told us to go there because it was cheap and indeed it's cheap and the girl is super nice, she has a super nice dog. For the moment we're going to Dongguan Mosque, so it's supposed to be a really big mosque, so yeah, we'll check this out. I'm really satisfied by this bread. It's really good. So we actually decided to go up the South Mountain after we went for a few meters in town. We didn't know what to expect up here, but it turns out that we have a kind of monastery. It looked really nice. But as you can see, it's a beautiful view from up here. You can get a good overlook. You can see what the city looks like. Turns out every building is built the same. photographer
that's gonna rescue him. <laughs> it looks like we are locked in. That's the way we came from. <laughs> That's the way we got in. So how do we get out now? Let's explore. Let's go down this way. That looks interesting. Oh, could be a way out. Doesn't really look like a way out though. Marvelous. Marvelous. <laughs>